Luke twelve, thirteen through thirty four. The story of the greedy farmer. Someone out of the crowd said, Teacher, order my brother to give me a fair share of the family inheritance. He replied, Mister, what makes you think it's any of my business to be a judge or mediator for you? Speaking to the people, he went on, Take care. Protect yourself against the least bit of greed. Life is not defined by what you have, even when you have a lot. Then he told them this story. The farm of a certain rich man produced a terrific crop. He talked to himself. What can I do? My barn isn't big enough for this harvest. Then he said, Here's what I'll do. I'll tear down my barns and build bigger ones. Then I'll gather in all my grain and goods, and I'll say to myself, Self, you've done well. You've got it made and can now retire. Take it easy and have the time of your life. Just then God showed up and said, Fool, tonight you die. And your barn full of goods? Who gets it? That's what happens when you fill your barn with self and not with God. Steep yourself in God reality. He continued this subject with his disciples. Don't fuss about what's on the table at mealtimes or if the clothes in your closet are in fashion. There is far more to your inner life than the food you put on your stomach, more to your outer appearance than the clothes you hang on your body. Look at the ravens, free and unfettered, not tied down to a job description, carefree in the care of God, and you count far more. Has anyone by fussing before the mirror ever gotten taller by so much as an inch? If fussing can't even do that, Why fuss at all? Walk into the fields and look at the wildflowers. They don't fuss with their appearance. But have you ever seen color and design quite like it? The ten best-dressed men and women in the country look shabby alongside them. If God gives such attention to the wildflowers, most of them never even seen, don't you think he'll attend to you? Take pride in you? Do his best for you? What I'm trying to do here is get you to relax. Not be so preoccupied with getting so you can respond to God's giving. People who don't know God and the way he works fuss over these things. But you know both God and how he works. Steep yourself in God reality, God initiative, God provisions. You'll find all your everyday human concerns will be met. Don't be afraid of missing out. You're my dearest friends. The Father wants to give you the very kingdom itself. Be generous. Give to the poor. Get yourselves a bank that can't go bankrupt. A bank in heaven far from bank robbers. Safe from embezzlers. A bank you can bank on. It's obvious, isn't it? The place where your treasure is, is the place you will most want to be and end up being.